Help from all over the nation is rolling in for people in Florida dealing with the aftermath of Hurricane Ian. Georgia's Air National Guardsmen are also on the way to Florida right now with supplies and they're going to be helping local first responders wherever they're needed. The National Guard is playing a big part in the recovery efforts and Atlanta News First Patrick Quinn reports from Sarasota tonight. How you doing, ma'am? You guys need a case of water, right? Um, for two families. Two families. Thank you so much. Have a great day. In Sarasota County, the National Guard handing out water and meals already to more than 200 families impacted by Hurricane Ian. It is absolutely the most wonderful thing I've ever seen. Doris Hershey and her 91-year-old mom, Elizabeth, from Sarasota, avoided the worst of the Category 4 hurricane but they're not sure about Doris's brother across town. No one has heard or seen from him, so we're actually taking it up to people that need it. Each family gets up to six meals, two bags of ice and a pack of water. It's a start, especially for those without electricity. And a big focus today across the region is restoring power. More than 40% of Sarasota County is still in the dark, but we are seeing crews across Sarasota, all along neighborhoods, actively working to turn lights back on. Across Southwest Florida, recovery efforts are in overdrive, but potentially hampering distribution are inaccessible roads. Ongoing flooding from Ian shut down part of I-75 South, a main supply route cut off, traffic diverted. Back in Sarasota, a lieutenant with the National Guard told me they're taking this day by day, and next, they'll head to wherever the need is. For Doris, the threat of Ian is over. Now it's time to deal with its damage. I've lived here 40 years. I've been through Charlie and Andrew, all of them. This one I was afraid of. From Sarasota, Patrick Quinn, Atlanta News First.